Total Energy's ambition is to be net zero by 2050, together with the society. This means that Total Energies is transforming from an oil and gas company to a multi-energy company. This transition is supported by two pillars, oil and gas and integrated power. Total Energy's target is to reach 50% in renewable electricity by 2050, with the remaining share of oil and gas at 25%. Discover how putting lubricants on the market will lower impact on the environment, helping customers to reach their carbon neutrality. So dear followers, dear listeners, thank you very much for joining us today. This is a new episode of Ntalk, your Nexus podcast. And today I'm very delighted to open a new podcast series dedicated to Total Energy. Total Energy is a Nexus strategic supplier and we will be able today to talk about immersion cooling. So today I would like just to introduce Total Energy battery product engineer. So hello Gérard. Hello. Thank you very much for being with us. Maybe Gérard, do you want to present yourself to, to our audience? Yes, hello everyone. So uh, I have been working at Total Energy for four years now and uh, I'm a battery specialist. Uh, the Lubicot world is not my main background. I've been working in the battery world for 20 years where I have developed several batteries for electric and hybrid vehicles uh, in, at different OEM. And now I'm in charge of developing and support immersion cooling uh, for the next generation of batteries. Thank you very much, Gérard. But you know, we are so we will talk about immersion cooling. But first, can you say what is the immersion cooling? Immersion is a new cooling technology for lithium batteries. In this concept, the lithium cells are immerged in a oil that extracts heat from the cell. Oh, but do you mean that the battery is completely filled by an oil? Not exactly. The cells are not submerged or immerged in oil, but there is a circuit that allows direct contact between the oil and the surface of the cell. In fact, the volume of oil needed in the battery for a proper cooling is relatively low. It's interesting, but you know, it's, there is an important question. So what is the difference in that case with the current battery in the BEV? In today's batteries, cells are cooled by contact with a cold plate, made of the time in aluminium, through with uh, cooling fluid circulate. The problem with this technology is that the contact is not perfect, which affects the cooling efficiency. And additionally, it's not homogeneous, since the cold plate is in contact with only one side of the cell. In immersion, the contact is with all sides of the cell, and it's perfect because the interface is, in that case, solid liquid. And uh, what are the advantages? There is several benefits of the N1, since we can extract more heat than the cell and more efficiency, ultra fast charge is possible. So, and when I said ultra fast charge, it means that a recharge, the recharge of the battery in less than 10 minutes. In other hand, this simplifies the design of the battery, make it the battery cheaper and lighter. Finally, thanks to the fluid properties, the battery level safety is considerably enhanced and we can avoid the propagation of a thermal runaway. When? Can we expect to see this technology in our vehicles? Almost tomorrow. This technology has already convinced many car and battery manufacturers, but there's still a lot of work to be done to implement immersion cooling in electric vehicles. But I promise you, we'll be seen in merged battery long before 2030. Very nice. And in that case, Gérard, thank you very much for this explanation on the immersion cooling technology. I would like to thank, of course, all our listeners and followers and see you soon for a new episode with Total Energy.